Hi everyone, welcome to SOF Research channel. In this video, we are going through Opportunity Team feature in Salesforce and what are the features involved in Opportunity Team. At a very high level, Opportunity Team is nothing but a group of users who are working together on a sales team. In Salesforce, usually we call sales deals as an opportunity, right? So it, it can be a sale operation that is happening between your company and a customer. Nowadays, sales are more complex than just going to a store and buying things. Instead, it will involve multiple rounds of negotiation between different companies. So that's why this opportunity team concept is useful. When a group of users are working together and selling something from your company to an external company, it's very useful. So feature wise, you can specify what level of access your team members get uh, as when they get added to your opportunity team and you can specify different roles for your team members and you can you you will get access to new list views and uh, reports through this feature you will be able to see only the opportunities that are uh, also owned by your team and similarly you will have the feature you will have a feature to specify your own default team in user level so that way whenever you get a new opportunity automatically they also will be added to your opportunity and all of you can work together on selling or closing the opportunity uh, yeah without much delay let's get on to a demo or a walkthrough of the process so at the very first step is to enable opportunity teams so just search for uh, opportunity settings You, you will sorry it's opportunity team settings you will get an option to enable the settings just enable it save uh, select the layouts where you want this uh, later list to be added just save so its feature is enabled so now if i come here and uh, refresh and uh, go to any one opportunity I will be able to see this opportunity team slate list at the bottom. So the next step is to show how to add a new user to the team, right? So let's create a brand new opportunity anyway. Yeah, I have a brand new opportunity here. So now, now I am going to add a couple of, so my user is Salesforce course user. I am going to add a new user to my team. So we have to switch a role for the newly added team member. Say he is expert in pre-sales consulting. Let's add uh, my colleague john go as a pre-sales consultant and if opportunity is private i can give extra access here like uh, read write access to them so now me and john can work together on selling in this deal so that is the core idea behind opportunity teams and another one feature i mentioned is to is that you can add your default team right so if you go to your uh, user your settings and advanced user details there you will have an option to specify your default opportunity team. So if you add, uh, you can add anyone here basically. But yeah, since it is a dev environment, I have only a couple of users. Let's add him as a, a support engineer this time. So, so I have a personal uh, opportunity team, my default team setup. So now if I go to any opportunity, Uh, let, let's remove him from the team. So my uh, now my opportunity team is empty. If I click the our default team, now you can see that uh, uh, John Doe is added as a support engineer in my team. So this is opportunity team which at a very high level. Also, you will get additional filters in your list view. Say for example, if you go to uh, one of the existing list views, we will have an additional filter options here. 
so you will get options uh, my teams opportunities or my opportunity teams so i think my teams opportunity comes by enabling account team and my opportunity team comes when you enable uh, sales and uh, when you enable opportunity teams yeah that's at a high level opportunity teams thank you for watching the video hope you guys liked it please like the video and subscribe to the channel